All right, we're gonna do some trig proofs. All right, so we have a chart, left-hand side, right-hand side. What I usually do is try to look where possibly a side looks more complicated and start there. So that would be working on the left side. So have your trig um, formula sheet out, okay? And you're going to look for anything you can replace values with. So for instance, this tan angle, I'm going to replace it with this fraction sine angle cos angle. Okay, so I'm going to go sine angle over cos angle, okay, because I replaced this tangent times cos angle. Okay, from there I can see that cos and cos would cancel and I would get sine angle and now I can conclude the left hand side is equivalent to the right hand side. Okay, so that was a very basic one. <coughs> secant angle over cosecant angle, tan angle. Okay, so replacements. Um, secant I can replace with one over cos angle. Cosecant I can replace with one over sine angle. Okay, now I'm going to say that one over cos, instead of dividing by that fraction, I'm gonna times and reciprocate. And so this is equivalent to sine angle over cos angle. And you can work on both sides. Tangent can be replaced with sine angle over cos angle. So now I've shown that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Okay, let's try another one. Cotangent x plus tan x. Prove that it is the same as 1 over cos x sine x. Okay, so cotangent, I'm going to write that as cos x over sine x. And tangent, I'm going to write as sine x over cos x. Okay, so now I'm going to use a common denominator. Sine x cos x. So if I put it over common denominator, I therefore times this term by cos x. So times this by cos x. Cos squared x. If I put this if I put this over the common denominator, I must times it by sine x, so this becomes sine squared x. Okay, now looking on your formula sheet, I can see right here, cos squared plus sine squared is equivalent to 1. So I'm going to replace that. Okay, and... Um, let's just rewrite this, and I've proved that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, I have cos squared x divided by sine x minus sine squared x, and prove that it is the same as 1 plus cosecant x. Okay, so I'm gonna start on this left-hand side. So, cos squared x, I'm gonna make a replacement. It is the same as one minus sine squared x. Okay, and where did I get that from? Right here on your formula sheet. Sine squared, cos squared plus sine squared is one. And that's over sine x minus sine squared x. Okay, so now I am going um, to factor some stuff around. So I notice that this is a difference of squares. 
So I'm going to replace that with 1 plus sine x, 1 minus sine x. And then I'm going to GCF a sine x out. And I get 1 minus sine x. And now I can show that those cancel. And then I get 1 plus sine x over sine x. Okay, if I want to work a little on this side, I can go 1 plus, and then this is 1 over sine x. Okay, and then common denominator, sine x. So then if I multiply this by sine x on the bottom, I have to multiply it by sine x on the top. And now I've proven that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Okay? Um, <coughs> if you had started working on this right-hand side, sometimes when you get to this point, that often it is a good strategy to multiply by its conjugate and then you can create a difference of squares and that sometimes is a, is a helpful thing in, in these proofs.